My name is Kayla Fratt and I'm here with Canine of Mind to bring you guys our new online course, 30 Things to Teach Your Dog in 30 Days. So this course is designed to help you basically get your dog or new puppy from nothing up to a super well behaved dog. And one of the things that's important to keep in mind here is that of course all of this, all training, is going to be a ongoing thing. So even though this course is designed to get you kickstarted for your first month of time together with your dog, just keep in mind that all of this is going to need ongoing practice. For example, my own dog Barley and I have been together for just over two years and we still train and practice together almost every single day. So a little bit about myself before we get started. I am a certified dog behavior consultant with the International Association of Animal Behavior Consultants. So my real area of expertise is fixing problem behaviors in animals like aggression and separation anxiety, but that also means I spend a bunch of time thinking about how we can prevent those problem behaviors, and a lot of that is going to come down to basic obedience, giving the dogs the best lives that we can by giving them enrichment, stuff to do, and I firmly believe that a well-trained dog has a richer life because that well-trained dog is given more stuff to do. Um, if your dog is politely behaved, then your dog can come out on more walks. Your dog might be able to go to the coffee shop. Your dog can go hiking versus a poorly behaved or poorly trained dog who has a much smaller world and therefore is actually ultimately potentially more likely to develop behavior problems. I also spent almost two years of my life working at the fourth largest animal shelter in the country where I spent a ton of time looking at a lot of the problems that lead to animals being relinquished to shelters and that ultimately lead to those animals either being adopted or not adopted from the shelter later on. So this is a topic that's really near and dear to my heart. I understand how important it is to get you and your dog off on the right paw when you're starting your life together. So whether you're bringing home a brand new eight week old puppy or a shelter dog that knows nothing, or a shelter dog that needs a little bit of a brush up, or if you've had your dog for years and are just realizing that you know what, it is high time we get this dog trained, we're here for you. So we've actually broken this course down into five modules of six for you guys so that you can kind of work through at your own pace. And I, I had a hard time figuring out what order to teach any of this stuff in because a lot of this stuff is really important. So we start out with module one, which is six foundation skills to teach your dog. These are things like teaching your dog to leave it and teaching your dog that awesome stuff comes from you. These are either actual skills or kind of relationship building concepts that are absolutely indispensable towards the rest for the rest of your training moving forward. Module number two is six foundation skills to teach your dog. So these are getting more into some of the actual nitty gritty training that we're going to be doing with our dogs and actually teaching your dog some new skills. The third module is six husbandry skill skills to teach your dog. It's really important to be able to teach your dog that going to the vet and having veterinary procedures as well as basic grooming is no big deal. So these, these skills focus on both teaching you and teaching your dog how to do some basic grooming, basic maintenance, basic veterinary prep so that you guys are ready for that together. The fourth module is six life skills to teach your dog. As I said earlier, it's really important to teach your dog how to behave in public so that you can take your dog more places. And if your dog can go more places, your dog spends less time left at home alone, which means your dog is better exercised, has a more mentally enriching life, and is ultimately less likely to get himself into trouble. Um, so these skills are aimed at helping you have a well-behaved, pleasant companion when you're out and about together. Finally, our fifth module is six fun tricks to teach your dog. Each of these tricks was selected because they're both easy and fun, as well as they might have some useful components to them. Not all of them, but a lot of them actually are really helpful for keeping your dog's core in shape or um, building and stretching some muscles for your dog. And the other thing is, I think it's really fun to teach your dog tricks. Teaching your dog tricks is a really, really great way to build your relationship with each other. And it also um, is great mental enrichment for your dog. It's just a lot of fun in my opinion. So we've got some tricks in here as well for you guys. 30 skills is a lot, and these 30 skills are basically going to be able to take you from, okay, bare and minimum, we're just trying to convince the dog that it's worth it to stick around us and it's worth it to um, pay attention to us, all the way up to some really flashy urban out and about skills and some really fun tricks, okay? So I can't wait to get started and we'll see you guys in module one, which again is foundation skills for you and your dog.